Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So today I want to talk about something that happens a lot for all of you in our 12 week year. I'm just trying to get my clothes together. Um, it is hotter than a chicken shack on a 4th of July in here. So <clears throat> if you're wondering why I look a little sweaty and curly, that's why it is. <clears throat> it is so glad to be here with you. But today, what I'm going to work on for you in the 12 week year is one, I want to invite you, please come, please sign up, please be part of the group. And for those of you who have had multiple rounds, this is my invitation to you uh, because the topic today is lean into being and not just doing. So sometimes we really have to focus on do, 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 do. I have to get this this thing and, and the real physical things that you have to get done. But as you start working through those, so I've been doing this now for a whole year. This is, we've done three rounds live and a lot of you have a lot done, right? Cause you just pick in the three, in the 12 week year is a book. It's a book that is not the greatest book in the world, but it is an effective tool. And it's a tool that I can work with, with my friends. Uh, with you and in an accountability group so that you can get more of your life done. And I chose to do it because one, my friend BJ actually talked me into it and he was right. Cause he's like, I think you would really do good at this. And, uh, and he was willing to be part of my very first group. And now he and I get to do some groups together. So the 12 week year is really a way to start learning to keep promises to yourself. And that's really what we are teaching and exploring and so forth in that group. So a lot of times people have foundational goals that they're working on. They may have um, kind of extraordinary goals, but a lot of times they have very ordinary goals. I, I really just want a food prep program. I want to be able to eat better. I want to focus on my diet or my exercise. I want to focus on just the things that I need every day. And the 12 week year is a system and you have to do the system because the system is teaching you how to look at your daily habits, to build time into your schedule and to put those as a priority. The 12 week year also has three year goals to it. It uses smart goals. None of these topics is particularly um, mind blowing. That for every person who is a high achiever, these are all things you've learned how to do, but you haven't done them. And they're all things that you have to do with other people. Because the way that successful people stay successful is they stay attached to what they're doing and there's a reward. And you have to do it with other people. If you are trying to get all the stuff done in your life on your own, it almost demagnetizes you. It's just, it's very difficult to stay focused. I'm here and this is what I'm going to do. You, We all need that other piece. So for those of you who've done a lot of goal setting, uh, today is my vote to say, I do need you to focus on some of the goals that are around being because being is also about doing. So what that means is, is that if you want the magic to keep happening, you have to have a help. You have to have a healthier you. You have to be able to focus in on self-growth goals. And when we think about that, I remind people, sometimes that's rituals, sometimes that's mindset, sometimes that's, right, because I teach prosperity mindset, sometimes that is how just the target of feeling emotionally better. Sometimes some of you need some grief work. Some of you actually need some, uh, just some better ways to process the speed at which your life is unfolding. So I do want you to think about goals around being, being present, being emotionally available to your own grief, being emotionally available to new ideas. So these are things that will also bring you viability. So when you think about being, it's, it's, it's also focusing on your own substance on my presence, my identity, right? It's the, it's, it's kind of pulling the texture of my inner self outside that it's strong enough for me to show all of me. 
So when you're thinking about being, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not feeling empty. It's not feeling that there's this void in your life. It's not um, always focusing on the outside stuff so that you can feel good on the inside. It is, um, it is a, a lot of times, for those of us who are in positions of power, where we run a lot of things, a lot of times we kind of put on the identity and then we go do, be that thing. So, right? When I am in executive meetings, everyone is really in their executive mask, and then they're playing the game at that way. Very few people are showing more than an impression of themselves. So when you're looking at the goals that are very important for you, it is important to actually be who you are. And it's a lot of work, but you have to believe that the substance that's inside of you is strong enough and brilliant enough and solid enough that you can just be you all the time. You don't have to kind of prop yourself up and get out there and put on your big, big girl pants kind of thing. You just get to have pants. And that is that prosperity mindset of saying, look, if you do the work on the inside, this other stuff will be a lot easier. So the goal is, is that one, to recognize the magic is already happening. And when you're taking on your next set of goals, especially for those of you who have done the 12 week year multiple times, I'm gonna really encourage you to focus in a little differently on the fact that being is also doing. So what is it that you need of substance? What is it that you need to be more viable? What is it that you need to be stronger in your identity? And sometimes that is an exploration. So it's different from a task list where you get to just kind of check things off. It is to start building a check-in list, to start building a check-in list that says, hey, can I, can I look at these other things? And doing that deep emotional work will make you amazing, amazing amazing so i'm going to encourage you to think about it it's a great goal to set and that is the focus lean in to you as a being and that being is doing so i hope to see you here on facebook but i more so want to see you live in class so i hope i get to see your beautiful face live all right see you soon and if you have stuff put them in the comments people read these comments so that's fun. And you should just put a comment in so I know you were here. That's fun too. All right. Bye. I'll see you here, but I'd like to see you in class.